Hey there and welcome back to this course on learning how to deploy dockerized applications to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. In the last video, we wrote a docker compose file um, to basically find us the functionality of using hot reloading in React and for that we use something called docker volumes. In this video, we would be creating one new service inside that docker compose file, the nginx service. So for that, we will be writing a new Docker file, some Nginx configuration, and actually add that service inside that uh, Docker Compose file. So back inside my work directory, um, you can see that I have created one new directory called Nginx right next to my Beanstalk app and Docker Compose.yml file. Inside that, we have two files. Let's start with Docker file first. So here we say that we want the base image of Nginx. Once again, this would go to Docker Hub, go to the Nginx official package, and then we want the tag Alpine. When we say tag Alpine, it's just a way to say that give me all the latest features that Nginx provides in the slimmest way possible so that my image is really small and really efficient in terms of size. Then we say that copy the default.conf file from my local directory into the hc nginx conf.d default.conf directory inside my docker container. Now once again, this is a very standard location to have your default.conf configuration file and that's how that's why I've written it this way. Inside my default.conf, I've created another very slim and easy to learn quickly to understand nginx configuration file which says that, hey, create a new nginx server and then accept anything that comes on forward slash and then reverse proxy it to my react application. And then in my reverse proxy definition of upstream, I have said that a server with the name react app would be running and it would be running on port 3000. Now the next obvious question is how would nginx know what react app is? Here is where docker compose comes into play. So in the, instead of docker compose file, I have now added one new file or one new service called nginx. Inside the service, we have some commands. Let's go over them one by one. We say restart always. So nginx is probably the service that's most essential in any application because that's what will actually route all the requests if they are going to server or front end. All those will be routed through nginx. So if ever nginx were to go down, we would want to make sure that we instantly bring it back up because it's a very essential uh, service for us. Then, um, exactly like last time, we have building Docker file inside the nginx context, and then we are mapping anything on port 80 in the outside world to port 80 inside the nginx server. So by default, port 80 is always used for HTTP. So anything we route to HTTP port 80 will be now routed through to our Nginx. With this, we don't actually need this port from our React app. The reason being, Nginx would actually be routing all our requests from port 80 through to our React app, which it knows is running on port 3000 because we have defined it here. And the final, the most important question, how would Nginx know what React app is? Well, this is where Docker Compose up or Docker Compose is so useful. Anything that we have inside Nginx or uh, React app, uh, these are services. Any service name has access to the other service. So if we were to add another service called server app, our React app would have access to server app not on localhost, not on any specific IP. We could just name the service name. So if we add Mongo and we want to connect our Node.js server to Mongo, we don't need to write localhost 27017. We can just say connect to Mongo. And because of this Docker Compose network that's present, it would automatically make sure that uh, we can connect. So um, removing the ports, I can once again run Docker Compose up and then wait. This would actually bring up my Nginx server and then it would also start my React application. So back inside, if I refresh this, this would no longer work and we know why. Instead of reaching port 3000, we need to go to port 80. And the reason for that is 
this will request will go to nginx and from there it would route through to our react application so this is a very basic running setup of two services inside docker compose one is react app and one is nginx this is it for this video in the next video um, we'll be talking about the aws resources we will use and all that good stuff of elastic beanstalk so um, stay tuned cheers